Hi Bumblebees, happy Friday. It is a fun, fun Friday. So that means we have a few surprises today. So before we begin with that, let's read our message together. On the count of three, let's start tapping out our message. One, two, three. Dear Bumblebee friends, good afternoon. Today is Friday, April 24th, 2020. We will play Love, Miss Schottinger, and Miss Malatestinic. Nice job, bumblebees. So what colors do you notice in their pattern today? I see green, green, purple, purple. Green, green, purple, purple. So what kind of pattern is that? Let's label it together. A, A, B, B, A, A, B, B. Nice job, bumblebees. So what kind of pattern do we have? A, A, B pattern. Let's tap that out together. Are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. A, A, B, B. A, A, B, B. One more time. A, A, B, B. Nice job, bumblebees. So let's take a closer look at our message. What else do you notice is on our message today? We're hunting for the letter E. Is E a consonant or a vowel? Vowel, nice job. And what do you notice is over here? What is this a picture of? An egg. What letter does egg start with? E, nice job. Can you think of another word that starts with the letter E? And maybe you could go on a little hunt in your house and find an item that starts with the letter E. Let me know if you do that. That sounds like a fun little challenge. Okay. What month is it, bumblebees? It is April. So let's practice our April poem. Okay, on the count of three, we're going to read it together. Are you ready? One, two, three. April is the month with many rain showers. We celebrate the start of spring and hope for blooming flowers. Now the snow has melted and birds chirp in trees. Hibernating bears wake up. I hear the buzzing bees. What does a buzzing bee sound like? Buzz. Nice job. Okay, so let's take a look at our calendar. What month did we just say was? April. So we have lots of days filled in, right? So it's almost, almost the end of April. Can we count all the days together? Yeah, before we count, let's figure out what day of the week is it. It's a fun, fun. Friday. So let's circle that. It's Friday and the month is April. Okay, as we tap, can you pat your knees today? All right, let's try that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty. Four. Today is the 24th, so let's take a moment to write that in. Okay, and let's say it all together. Today is Friday, April 24th. Nice job. Okay, let's take a look at our weather reels if you have one. If not, you could take a look at mine. So take a moment to look outside your windows. And what is the weather like today? What's it like by you? By me, it's a little bit rainy. Unfortunately, it's a little rainy today by me. Is it rainy by your house? Okay, so we have our weather wheel and I have a little surprise to show you. I have an emotion wheel. What are our emotions? How we feel. So I have all different emotions on here with little animals, different animals. So this says today I feel. So I want to share how I'm feeling today. Are you ready? Put your listening ears on. Okay, let's see. I'm going to spin my wheel. I'm going to let you know how I'm feeling. Ding, ding, ding. How do you think I'm feeling? How does that puppy look? When you see a puppy for the first time they come up to you, how do they seem? Really excited. Today, I'm so excited. Do you want to hear why I'm excited? Okay, put your listening ears on. I am so excited because today is our spring festival. How fun is that? We get to have our spring festival at our homes. So just like we would have a fun day in class and we would have all different centers with our parents, you get to have all of those fun activities at home with your family members. 
So before I set you off to enjoy your spring festival, I wanted to go over all the centers with you. So everybody has a copy of this at home, their little PDF of the activities. So I'm going to read them to you and we'll talk about them. Okay, so our first one is reading in the garden. Let's see if I could lower the brightness on here so you could see a little bit more with me. What do you think reading in the garden is going to be? What are you going to do with reading in the garden? We're going to read. Okay, so let's take a closer look. If the weather is nice, bring a towel or a blanket outside to place on the grass. Find a spot to sit and read. So by me today, it's not so nice out. So I don't think I want to go outside. So I could either save this activity for over the weekend when it is nice out, or you could choose a cozy spot inside. Maybe you could build a fort and do something fun like that and read a story. So find a story that's about spring and read it with your family members. And then we have some questions to ask as you read. Okay. All right. Let's check out our next one. Cherry blossom painting. Okay. So let's see. It says color the branch on the template with a brown crayon. If you are unable to print the template, you could draw your own branch. So we have a picture in the PDF that you could print of the branch, or you could just make your own. Now we want to make cherry blossom trees. So let's take a look at that picture. What is that a picture of? That is the end of a soda bottle. So if you have a big soda bottle or a big seltzer bottle, you could use the bottom of it to dip and paint and create cherry blossoms. And if you can't, if you don't have paint at home, or maybe you don't have a soda bottle like that, you could take a Q-tip and you could finger or finger paint or use a Q-tip to create cherry blossom trees. Okay, let's see our next one. Flower petal patterns. So we are going to create patterns with our petals. So these are just a few examples of ways you could do it. Or this is how I did it at home. I used a paper plate and I folded it and I cut it and then I opened it and I created that. And then I used paint to create a pattern. What kind of pattern did I make? An AB pattern. Nice job. Puddle jumping. So we've done something like this in our classroom. So you could show your family members how to do this right? So you could print out pictures of puddles, you could create ones with construction paper, anything you would like to jump in puddles and hop. Watercolor kites, so you can make your own watercolor kite at home, and there are so many different ways you could do this. I used a paper towel and some paint, watercolor paint, and mine came out really great. Mine kind of looked like this one. So let's see how creative you could get to create a kite. Homemade bird feeder. So you could create a bird feeder at home to put outside for the birds. But there is peanut butter in this recipe. So I know a few of my bumblebee friends, they either have a peanut allergy themselves or their family members do. So in your case, if that's you, you can't do this one, but that's okay because I have another idea for you. Instead of doing this, you could do um, a fountain, a bird fountain. So you could create a little fountain for the birds to come by and get some water. So I think that would be really cool. I think I might try that out today. Spring planting. Ooh, what do you think we're going to do here? You could try and plant today. So if you have seeds at home, you could plant them in little pots. You could create your own pot and get creative. And if you don't have any seeds at home, you could try to grow lettuce. So if you have lettuce at home, you have a little end of it, you could grow lettuce. So you could take a look at these instructions for further help, okay? So bumblebees, I hope you have a really fun spring festival and I cannot wait to hear and see all about it. I would love to see pictures, videos, everything you create and make it as fun as you possibly can. And I wish I could be there with you. Enjoy bumblebees.